Thank you for clicking Dr. Samurai channel. This is the part two of the raincoat killer in Korea. And in this part two, I would like to discuss why he did what he did. I would like to uh, provide speculation as a specialist. At the end of part one, he killed the girls on out call sexual massage because multiple girls have been disappearing the police were suspecting the suspect could call those business again and uh, due to the cooperation of the such business owners the police could catch the suspect you young child but the uh, why he killed 26 people in less than a year, out of which only uh, 20 were confirmed. And here's my professional speculation. This kind of serious violent crimes always go back to their early childhood. In this uh, raincoat killer, Yu Yonchul's case, he was severely abused by his father, in addition to uh, the abuse by his stepmother. He also missed his mother's love at a very young age. As I have been advocating things that happens during the first three years of their life stays with him for the rest of his life. The soul of three years old lasts forever. So there's this uh, volatile violence by his alcoholic father who was Vietnam vet. That violence imprint in undeletable aggression deep inside of his mind. At the same time, because of the lack of uh, his mother's love during his infancy, he developed to be uh, obsessive with uh, money and love. But uh, at the same time, unconsciously, he carries anger against his mother who uh, deserted him. Little boy could not figure out things with reason. So the boy tend to think uh, I didn't deserve her love and so on. First blaming himself. But those uh, self blame also turns into uh, anger. I am not uh, normal kids. I am ugly. Do not deserve human love and things like that. So his case is a uh, typical case of serial killers. Deep anger imprinted by his uh, alcoholic father's violence, which merged into uh, sexual urges when he hit the puberty. That is when he started to steal things and also he started to commit this sex crimes and he couldn't stop it because it was imprinted but also due to the obsession developed by the lack of a mother's love that always develop strong obsessions which he could not stop. That is why he said if he had not been caught he could have continuously killed forever. But one other characteristics of his uh, serial murder is uh, 
First, he killed the wealthy families, saying they should watch what they're doing. And then later on, it shifted to killing sex workers. This type of serial killers are called mission oriented serial killers. They kill only specific type of people, like、uh, racial minorities, homosexuals, religious minorities, prostitutes, homeless, and so on, killing whom can be socially justified. This is the characteristic of mission oriented serial killer. And I go one step deeper. This is the value. Those who were severely abused with deep emotional neglect. This deep emotional neglect leads to obsession, I told you, right? And what did he read? He read Che Guevara and Nietzsche. Right? And the contents of the, those books written by Nietzsche and Che Guevara taught him highly critical mentality against the highly、uh, wealthy and greedy people. So when he hit the puberty, he could not stop his anger already merged into his.、Uh, Sexual drive, which he could not stop anymore. That murderous drive was first aimed at those socially greedy people, according to what he read in those books. But gradually, the anger directed at socially wealthy people by the help of those. Teaching by Nietzsche and、uh, Che Guevara shifted into his natural anger at women, including his mother who deserted him and his、uh, wife who got、uh, separated from him with his loving son. And all those experiences with the sexual workers who insulted him, which originated in his ex wife, who was also sex workers. His anger shifted to those natural t a r g e t But listen to this carefully. All he killed was wealthy. Family and sex workers only. It is still mission oriented serial murder because his anger was accompanied with deep emotional neglect, which causes pathological obsession. And only those who Carries pathological obsession become mission oriented serial killer who releases their anger only within the fixed framework. You see what I'm saying? And、uh, what I would like to add is another value. Although he is a serial killer, he Genuinely loved his son. And the Netflix series, he confessed because the police promised to take care of his son, go on to a university financially. That's why he confessed everything. Even after arrest, he still loved his son. But、uh, most of the people think serial killers are psychopaths who is 
emotionally handicapped. They think serial killers cannot love others. That is not true. There are two types of serial killers. One is psychopathic type. They don't love anybody, including their own kids, and don't even want to have a pet. But the other type is sadistic serial killers, emotionless serial killer and sadistic serial killers. Those two types and mission oriented serial killer and two types emotionless psychopathic type and emotional sadistic type. This is the today's values. Lastly, although uh, all detectives who were on site with the Yu Yoncho says his eyes were different from those of ordinary people. I just like to say one thing. He was severely abused and deeply neglected. So he was an introverted boy who couldn't even make friends with peers. That weak, naive boy transformed into this monster whose eyes even the hardcore detectives were afraid. He transformed into that because of the anger he absorbed and uh, sadness and envy due to lack of love. All merged together with the sexual drive. Plus that reading of Che Guevara and Nietzsche, which gives him a strong psychological support. Deep anger and sadness plus those readings which supported his weakness plus sexual drives which we cannot control. These three got together and that naive lonely boy became murderers whose eyes everybody feared. I would like you to understand that. He was originally a weak person. Family environment created this monster and the desertion by his wife stressed him further. And this beast was released into the society. This is it. And uh, what I would like to devote myself to for the rest of my life is truly peaceful society in which another Yu Yoncho are now going to be created in our society. This is it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this. And uh, please be nice to the people around you, especially to your close ones. Up until next time, wherever you are, my friend, on this same small planet Earth during the miraculously same short time period. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.